Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to add or remove accents in the music that you're creating in MuseScore 3. I will also cover how to insert marcato markings, and I will show you how each of these uh, works with uh, the playback controls. Let's get started. So you will want to have MuseScore open, and I'm working on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And so to find the accent markings, you will want to go to the palettes on the left hand side of the screen and you will look for the palette that says articulations and you will click the triangle to drop that down. If you can't find the articulations palette, you can just go up to uh, add palettes and you'll be able to find it there. So I've got the articulations palette open and you can see they've got the accent uh, marking uh, listed. And so uh, there are uh, two ways you can um, insert the accent marking. You can click on the accent marking and drag it to the note that you would like. The note will turn blue and then you let go. So drag and drop for the accent markings. And so uh, that's uh, the accent marking um, uh, on that note. And let's say I wanted another way you can add an accent marking is to select the note. It will turn blue and then click the accent marking. And so you can see both of those ways will add uh, an accent marking. And so you can see um, for the accents, it uh, automatically added the accent either below uh, the note or above the note. And let's say that you would like uh, the accents, um, all of the accents above the notes. Uh, you would just click on the accent here, it'll turn blue, and then just drag it to the spot that you would like it to be. And then you'll notice that you can line those up uh, for uh, having the accents above. And again, you can do the same thing if you would like them below, just drag and then drop. So uh, that's how you can um, change the position of the accent. And so that's how you add uh, accent marking. If you'd like to delete the accent marking, you would just click it and then it will turn blue again and then just um, uh, press delete on the keyboard. So click and then press delete. That will remove the accent marking. Now, let's say you'd like to do a marcato marking. And so I've uh, got the marcato here and then I've got the note selected. So I'm just going to click marcato. And then so it added the marcato marking uh, where I would like the, the marcato. And uh, one thing I wanted to show you is the difference between the accent uh, marking and the, the marcato marking in the playback controls. So each one is slightly different, but mainly you'll notice that the accent marking is a little louder with the playback than the marcato marking. So if you're um, adding these um, so that uh, the playback uh, is the way you would like it, then the, um, the I guess the louder sound is the accent and, and the um, not as loud sound is the marcato, but you'll still hear a difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play this from the beginning so you can hear the difference between the two uh, types of accents. And so you could hear it was, it was kind of um, not as easy to hear the first time through. Let me um, try it a different way. So I'll do the first uh, two notes will be just regular. And then let's say the next two notes will be accents. And then um, the last uh, one, the quarter notes here, let's go ahead and put marcados on them. So you can hear the difference between um, each one. That was a little easier to hear the difference between um, each of the, uh, the accents. Um, okay, so you know how to add the accents either above or below the note, and you know how to add uh, or remove uh, marcato markings. Now let's look at the um, marcato marking or accent marking um, in detail here. So if you would like to um, edit any parts of the accent, you just click on it, it will turn blue. You go over to the right hand side of the screen and you'll see the inspector. If that's not there, you will just want to go to view and then click inspector or you can press F8. Now uh, you can see that I have a couple options. So for this element, and it's talking about the accent, I can change uh, the visibility. So if I click this, it will uh, hide the visibility. Now you can see it's still there, but it won't be visible when you print your music. And if you'd like to make it visible, just click that again. I can change the color. Um, I have different placements again. You can change the placement. Uh, so you can see when I unclick automatic placement, it puts it in a different spot. So um, again, you can uh, play with these uh, so that you can put the accent exactly where you want the accent. Um, and then right down here, the part where it says articulation, that's the, the main uh, part I wanted to show you. So uh, at that um, uh, articulation inspector element, you can uh, go ahead and change 
uh, if you would like to hear the accent during playback. So right there, I've got a, uh, a I can press the click play. And uh, if I unclick it now, it will not play that accent during playback. So that's one thing you can change. You can change the direction of the uh, articulation. Again, this is for all articulations, not just the ones that we worked on today. Uh, and then you can also, um, it's got this time stretch. Um, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what the time stretch does. I, I, pl I played with it a bit, but I wasn't exactly sure how it affected the articulation playback. But um, uh, so that's one thing you might want if to, you, if you know any more about the time stretch, you can drop in the comments below. But uh, so this was, uh, you know, um, the main ways that I wanted to show you how you can add or remove accent markings or Mercado markings in the music you're creating with MuseScore. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer those. I have other MuseScore 3 tutorials available. I'll put links to those around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I thank you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.